Hi Piggy people, so today I just wanted to quickly update you guys that this week is Raisin Spay. So anybody not familiar, Raisin went to the vet, well it's probably been a month and a half ago, for bleeding. So bleeding from most likely all we could tell is from her lady area. So she possibly has the start of a uterine cancer or some kind of reproductive issue that's not good. So she is getting spayed to prevent any issue or to get rid of any issue. So we've been waiting for our appointment for a little bit. Things are a little backed up, but we still got a pretty early date. She hasn't been bleeding since our appointment, so that's good. So it's made waiting easier. Raisin's going to be four in November, so it'll be nice to get it over with soon because she is getting, you know, a little bit older. I am nervous about it, but she's really super healthy right now. Super healthy, super active, and she absolutely loves to get some syringe food, so I'm hoping after surgery, once I get her back home, that she'll like to eat for me, because she's just over the moon to have you hand feed her anything, which is great. So, fingers crossed that everything goes smoothly, and that her recovery goes nicely and that she'll eat for me. What I'm going to be doing is same thing I did for the other girls that got spayed, give them a smaller section. So I'm going to give her probably like a one by three here. I'm hoping that she's going to be okay being blocked off. She really doesn't have a choice because you have to keep them in a small area so that everything heals properly for two weeks. So when she's in this small section, she's obviously still going to be surrounded by the herd. And this will kind of be the same area where pecan gets blocked off at night. So hopefully she'll do well. I'm thinking I'm going to put a lid on top. So just like a grids, like some grids for a lid on top. Just because Raisin is quite a jumpy pig and she can kind of freak out if she feels like she's cornered. So I'm just going to have to see how she behaves in her own small section. But I'll update you guys with how everything goes. I'm really just hoping she does well through surgery and continues to improve once she gets home. So Raisin has had surgery before and she handled anesthesia well, but that was back when she was like... I don't know, five or six weeks old when she was just a teeny little baby pig because they had to remove the rest of her eye or what was left in her eye socket and close it up. That's how she came to my vet and then we adopted her from the vet. So she did fine with that surgery but I mean obviously she's older now but she is super healthy so she's in the best shape that she can go in so Let's hope everything goes well. I just absolutely love her. She's so sweet. So I just want her to be happy and healthy and all fixed and not have any potential problems with her reproductive organs. So once she gets spayed, that means the only pig who is not spayed or neutered here will be Autumn. And if everything goes well with Raisin, then... Probably I'll wait till next year to spay Autumn because Autumn's still pretty young and this year's already been filled with stuff. We had uh, Velvet and Reese spayed, Annabelle spayed, had lots of problems with Dear Apple with her health and Pecan is very senior and I have to watch her. So I think I've had enough so after Raisin gets spayed this year I just want a little bit of a break. She's so cute. There's Hucky with hay on your head. What are you doing, bud? Is there a tomato seed stuck there? What are you doing? What do you got? Oh yeah, it is tomato juice. Are you trying to get that out of the fleece? You can't get it.
You're so goofy. <laughs> hey, Huckster. How's it going, buddy? You're so cute. There's Reese Bear. We've got Miss Velvy. We've got some naked ladies. Hi, Annie. Hi. Hi, gorgeous. How are you? Hey, Annabelle. And then we have Miss Autumn. Hi, gorgeous girl. How are you? And then Mr. Angus. Hi, little bubby. Alright, guys. So I will see you in the next video. And hopefully in the next video I'll be telling you that Raisin is doing well. Bye-bye. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching.